Hey everyone, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. I'm so glad you're here today. We're talking about one of my most hated family channels today, The Weiss Life. I know I don't do a ton of videos on them because their shit's awful. Um, and it's just the same as everybody else's, but the videos I have done on them are very, very revealing. We actually went into the analytics on a couple of channels. We talked about them and their mortgage brokerage and everything else. And then uh, we went into her past with her baby daddy, with Gabrielle's father. You know, as much as it was a terrible story for both ends, um, it was very revealing. I've talked to neighbors who've been in their home, who know what they're like. There's been just like a whole bunch of shit. But the one thing about this family that really gets me is the Gabrielle story. And we're not being told what's going on because it would definitely shut their entire channel down. But today we're going to have a little fun. Maybe we'll talk about why they're moving to Hawaii. Yeah, aloha, bitch. Did you know that the waste life is moving to Hawaii? Aloha, right? I know. They're going to be your neighbor. I don't know. We'll find out. How you doing? No, that's good. Just checking to see how you're doing with the nostrils. No, cool. All right. Well, I'll see you later. No, don't call me again. Okay. No, I'll call you. All right. Bye. Let's go. Again, I don't like these people, but they're moving to Hawaii, so we got to talk about it. Also, in their last pregnancy, which makes them lots of money, they talked a lot about some weird shit that went, went, that went down that was like, nobody believed it. And a lot of people will do these things that can't be proven for clickbait. But I don't think they're actually moving to Hawaii. I think they're doing what Bits did, and they're just going for a, an extended stay to Hawaii because the kids are probably homeschooled, likely because of COVID, um, and are just decided to keep their kids homeschooled. I don't know how family vloggers homeschool their children, because... They don't even know how to spell themselves. Don't forget that teen parents, not saying all teen parents are dumb, but all the ones that exploit their children online for money are dumb. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, let's talk. Let's see what's going on here. There's a lot of conjecture about what they're doing. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of it. Detective dad on the job. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm trying to get through this little landmine here because Melissa and I just got back from Hawaii and we have a big announcement today. Uh, who watches your kids? Um, but I just woke up. Oh, I'm sorry. Gabrielle actually is the one that parents the younger kids and is forced to do that. Like she's for these kids are forced to take care of their younger siblings. Like, and I'm not just saying that's what the dad said. I know that family has reached out to me. So just so you're aware, most of the stuff I got from that dad was just him hating on the mom, which, you know, whatever. But all the information that I give you generally comes from other sources. Just so you guys are aware. Up. Oh, well, everybody just woke up because it's the morning. <laughs> You're such a, a funny guy. Um, but I went to You're make not. breakfast. We didn't have any eggs. And I was really in an eggy mood. So I'm going to go to the corner market and get some eggs real quick. And then I went to get my shoes. And this is the uphill battle, which is trying to find your shoes every single day with seven people that wear shoes. Get a shoe rack then, dumbass. Maybe you can get a sponsorship for one or something from Target. There's one of mine. I pulled it out already. Um, so I'm gonna find his feet are smaller than his wife's feet. <laughs> and I have a shoe in there, and then we're gonna have some breakfast. We have a really fun announcement. I don't think we've announced it anywhere on social media yet. So um, Melissa will be down shortly here. Um, okay, she is I don't understand why they do this at the beginning of this video that says we're moving to Hawaii. And then the beginning of the video, we can read the title before we even click the video. Weirdo, <laughs> we're not gonna tell you anything. Yeah, well, you said it in the title. Ben with Jagger. See, Gretchen's helping out right now. Gretchen's going to watch Jagger while I run over to the little corner market. Why is your, what looks like an eight-year-old, watching your toddler? Where's your wife? You don't have jobs. Where's she at? See, we just got, this gets, what gets revealed to us in this stuff is quite interesting. They have like seven kids or something or six, something like that. Why isn't she out watching her children? She's probably sleeping while the other kids watch the kids. I don't like that. I don't rely on my older boys to watch my younger kids. Like I will we'll get Tyson to babysit once in a blue moon. If we have to go drop someone off or like dance or trampoline or something like that. But we're not like Tyson, watch the kids while we sleep in. Never have I ever once ever done that. Nor would I ever. That's ridiculous. Get some eggs because somebody's been eating whole food. Yes, you Gretchen, but also little Jagger man. Stop naming your kids things like Jagger. That's stupid. 
Don't do that. Are you really going to drive to the store to get eggs? Are you serious right now? That's why I don't follow these. That's why I don't like try to tear this shit down because it's just like our life. It's so bad. Get a big title. We're moving. But first, watch me put my shoes on and then get in the car and then go buy eggs. Stop it. All right. He is taking us. Hopefully they have eggs. Oh. Hopefully the grocery store has eggs. Uh-oh. Hey, you're in the wrong section. There's no eggs. Well, looks like I'm getting some at McDonald's. What? You couldn't go to another store? What? So you're not going to go get healthy eggs, you're going to McDonald's? Cool beans. Also, I know why there's no eggs. Guys, you know that there's right now a convoy of truckers in Canada, and now they're being teamed up with a convoy of truckers in the U.S. Going against the mandates in Canada, there's over 100 kilometers of truckers, 50,000 of them. Okay, with over a million supporters of the anti-mandate stuff. And I'm in full support of anything anti-mandate. As a person who's vaccinated myself, who encourages others, go get vaccinated. Because I do think it will help if you do catch COVID. Um, I'm fully pro-vaccine, everybody. But not according to the dictionary. Because I'm anti-mandate, I'm anti-V. Suck it. No. Don't ever force people to do things. Ever. So I'm pro. But the reason I said that is because no wonder there's no eggs in your damn shelf. You're seeing this all over Twitter. Shelves are empty everywhere. That's why I went to Costco the other day and filled up a giant buggy or two full of shit. Okay? Should have got more. There is going to be a shortage across the country of everything. I'm not trying to scare you people, but like just go get the staples. Okay? Is what I'm saying. It's, gonna, it's not like it's going to never be there. It's just going to take a while to get there. Not having eggs is crazy to me, actually. Especially in a warm state. <laughs> Ah, it's so loud. All right, we got the food. <laughs> Went to get eggs, came back with shit. Great. Awesome. <sighs> going to be eating in phases a little bit here. Jagger's playing with some trucks. So I'm probably going to give him a pancake. My pancake goes. Let's get a pancake. And what are you, what's your favorite? Again, I'd, I'd, leaving, I would not leave a toddler with an eight-year-old. or who, Like, that kid looked really young. Where are the older kids? That was really weird to me. I don't know. Don't do that. Part of the breakfast, Gemma. I also want a pancake. You want a pancake too? All right, well, let's get eaten. Now everybody's here. Oh, now they're all up. They all smelled the shit. <laughs> Smelling the breakfast. <laughs> hey, get to the shit, oh, dude. How come nobody took <laughs> a person, which is really exciting. <laughs> You're just giving them pancakes. So it's a little bit later now. <laughs> okay, chill there. Dark eyes. Is this is this raccoon in now? Is that like what we're going for? Hey everybody, check out this new raccoon makeup. <laughs> it, look, it looks like I'm going through a dumpster and stealing people's diapers. Um, I got ready, did my hair and makeup today, so I feel like a person, which is really exciting. Oh, that's nice. So people who don't do that aren't people. That's ableist. Oh, did you show them the little thing we got finally for you? What thing? Look, look, oh, look oh, what we got, guys. We got um, our million hey. people. Yeah, million a million subscribers. Subscriber. Million people. Million subscriber. Thank you, guys. Which is super awesome. Yeah. How did you get it, though? You got it through exploitation. And their videos are some of the grossest ones. Whenever I talk about, when I talk about a family vlogger, it's talking about their daughter's chest, puberty periods, all that kind of stuff, bra shopping. This is the family that does it the most. They made so much money selling their daughter's private moments like that on the internet. They made so much money and got over a million subs. If you think that's an achievement, you are gross and you need to check yourself. That's not an achievement. Everybody sees through it. They don't know none, none these people have friends and those who do have friends have spoken to me and said, I don't like them. So just saying. Um, thank you guys so much for all your support over the years. I was just watching some videos when we moved into the house like four and a half years ago. I know. The kids are so much little. littler. Like I'm the same. Littler is not a word. Okay. It's much more little. Could be what you could say there. Okay, cool. Thanks. Bye. And like they're all like little tiny kids. The last like, couple so years. Is that what happens when kids are younger? They're little? Cool. You guys are so like science and shit. <laughs> They've grown a lot. And then oh, also man. like just even like during COVID, like quarantine and stuff, I feel like we had all these little children going into it. And then now we have like all these grown up Young people adults. living in our house. Like, What is this shit? It's been two and a half years. Did you think COVID was going to stop 
the aging process or something. You guys need to relax with who watches this shit. It, they've grown so much in the last two years that it is insane. That's okay, actually, next. It kind of like leads into what we're talking about today. This was the segue you were looking for? Well, <laughs> try better next time. Um, so I don't know. You mentioned I, I can't do a drum roll because I'm holding the camera, but drum it's roll. okay. So, um, so we talked about this before in our channel, um, and I think the last time was maybe. So after Jagger was born, maybe? Who cares? But we talked about um, we've, how we've been playing around with the idea of moving um, and how we've decided that um, we live in North, Northern California um, for everyone new that doesn't know that already. Just kind of Thanks for telling us all where you live, idiots. Kind of like suburbs outside of Sacramento, which is, Terrible. by the way, a great place to live. Um, but I'm from here and I grew up here and I feel like after the last two years of kind of quarantining and just being at home all the time, uh, which we weren't before, um, it kind of just like... You mean you weren't home all the time? mean you couldn't go on vacations and shit? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're telling us right now? Because we couldn't do the other shit. You are... All you do is vlog. You have no jobs. Actually, they have a, they have a mortgage brokerage, which is weird. I got to look more into that. I wonder if they do own it and if they do, if they just invest in it and hire their real estate agents to do it. I don't know. But they, they, they own a realtor, that's for sure. They own brokerage. Showed us that we don't we don't really want to be here anymore. At least like full time. Like, And so we're really lucky because okay. we've always had um, great experiences and like really good luck like being homeowners. Like we were able to buy a house when we first got married because of the drop in the market. We got married. Because of exploiting kids? Like yeah, okay. right in the first the recession. So I know a lot of people that didn't work out too well for, but for us, like it was what allowed us to become homeowners yep. because otherwise I don't think we would have been able to afford it. Um, and the same thing, like the house with the- ah, Just talk where you're going! Even now, we, we sold the other house. We're able to put the money from that house into this house. So our housing has always been really affordable and that's one of the things that- No, it's not affordable. You guys make a shat load of money for exploiting your kids. Stop saying that it's like you just got lucky. You guys make tons of money on YouTube, you idiots. All the ad reads and everything that you do. What are you saying right now? What? We like because we know that California can be really expensive. Um, so really? So what we decided we want to do because the kids are growing up and we realized that we're running out of a lot of time to do things with like all of them together. Also known as Gabrielle is about to turn 18. And I think that Gabrielle is going to be out. At least at minimum, when she goes to university or college or whatever, she's going to be influenced by outside. Because right now they have all their kids out of school. They used to be in school and now none of them are in school. Likely because when I started talking about it, they pulled her out of school because a lot of the students were reaching out to me talking about her, which is crazy that they all know this. But they pulled their kids out of school because of the pressure that those kids are going to get and they will be under. And so they can vlog and keep them controlled, right? But I think as soon as Gabrielle gets wind of freedom outside of this house... It's shit's going to hit the fan. Gabrielle, I've told her in a video and I think she's watched it. She likely has a case to sue the shit out of these people, by the way. And she has family willing to take her in like her aunt and don't go with your dad, but your aunt and other people will help take you in. She's always got a place to land. Um, but she is owed so much money for the shit that they have done to Gabrielle. That's what she's saying. She, I, I almost feel like they're moving to get Gabrielle away from all that influence so that Gabrielle turns 18. She wants to leave. Where is she going to go? She lives in Hawaii. People keep an eye on this shit. This shit is really scary. Okay. This gets really crazy. Don't forget that Gabrielle has a bio dad who does love her, even though he's not probably the best person in the world, but she definitely has a bio dad and a family on that side that love her very much that are great people. Okay. And they're, they keep them, they keep her away from them because they don't like the influence those people have on her. So we are going to move. For the next couple months anyway and it's, we have, it's all don't call it a move if unless you're moving you're going to vacation for a couple of months is what you're going to do ended right now but we're going to be moving to hawaii you're going on a vacation i hate when people do this shit. it's not this is a clickbait beyond clickbait you're not moving for Hey-o. a minimum of a couple months maybe longer if we like it we're gonna go and um i have secured a rental and maybe not even if we like it we might not stay forever So So you're not moving. Is that what you meant to say? Are you so here's what a move is. We're selling our house and we're moving to another house. Just say you're going on an extended vacation because you're douchebags and you want to remove your oldest daughter from the influence of her family. That just say that. Just say that. So what we might do is we might go and live there for a couple months and then come back and then try if we do like and then go back to life get want to go back find and somewhere more housing. permanent yeah because right now we've secured like a rental that's like month to month um so you're not moving cool what a bunch of idiots 
that's really nice. Like we're really excited about it. Um, it's going to be on Oahu. We did just recently go to Maui and yeah. we tried to look for housing on Maui, but it was really hard. We couldn't find anything like there's. That's because there's rich ass people taking up all the properties in Hawaii. And people who sent me this video were reaching out to me from Hawaii saying, Hawaiians absolutely hate these dingleberries who move there, drive the price up of everything. Natives who live in Hawaii, who've been there their whole life, cannot afford to live in anything. Like, look at Bits of Bish's $1.4 million trailer, okay? That's a tiny trailer for $1.4 million. Those who live in Hawaii can't afford to live anywhere. And the rents are being driven up because of because of Airbnbs and 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 rentals like these guys are about to take on and bits of bish and all those people who did it, they can't live there anymore because these people are so out of touch with the world, but no one seems to give a shit. It sucks. Hawaii used to be the place where you went for a vacation. Now everybody wants to move there. And what happens is all these rich assholes come there and they drive up the price of everything so that everybody else who lives there has to live in poverty. That is crazy. Everybody in Hawaii is now going to be, and you know what? It's gotten to the point where now even the locals and the people who are indigenous to Hawaii can't vote in who they need to vote in to make change because all these twat, all these rich a-holes have moved there and they have more voting power now. That's what happens called gentrification is what happens. Okay. It is really, really scary. And so many people are going to be left out in poverty and homeless because of what these types of people do for a convenience for them. They don't need to move to Hawaii, move, move to fucking St. Martin, move to Jamaica, move somewhere else. Why is it Hawaii? Just less housing there and it's more expensive. And there was just nothing in our budget that was big enough for a family of eight. Um, so idiots, what? idiots. A surprise there. I know. Maui would have been like, our yeah, first choice. I'll be off. Wow. I hate this guy. But Oahu is awesome, and there's a ton to do there, and tons of like educational learning opportunities for the kids, museums, yeah. Pearl Harbor. What? Educational learning opportunities, museums, harbor, lots of hiking. Are you saying there's no museums and hiking in California? What? Why do they say dumb shit like this? It's like a justification of well, there's so many learning opportunities. Like you can go to the beach, and there's a museum there, and it's Pearl Harbor. Okay, you have to live near Pearl Harbor to give them educational opportunity. What? This is so stupid that these people just don't get what they're saying. They don't understand it. Um, and I'm so excited to do this with the kids because, like I said, I feel like... Do they look excited to you? There, There's some shady shit going on with this move. With this, Something's going on. Again, I need to find out when Gabrielle turns 18. I think it's going to be very, very eye-opening to find out when she turns 18. I bet you it, co I bet you it definitely lines with when they're moving. We don't have that much more time where we're going to have all of them under one house together, like under one roof together, where we're going to be able to yeah. do things Gabriel's like Gabriel's got like one year of high school left, and then she's going to be in the world doing her thing. And I don't know. I feel and uh, now we don't have anybody to watch our kids because she's going to go off. Gabrielle, please, if you're watching this, or if Gabrielle's friends are watching this, anybody who can speak to Gabrielle, tell her to leave. Tell her to get a lawyer ASAP. I'm sure your aunt will help you. I'm sure we can get you anything. Get a lawyer as soon as you move out of the house. Like it's... It's just the, t it's the right time. And the other reason why we're going to Hawaii, because we talked about Southern California, and I do think we're still going to go there. I think what we're decided we're going to do is we're going to go to Hawaii and then maybe come back for a little bit and then try to secure some housing down in Southern California and then check, check it, it out. out there and see if we like it down there. So you're not moving at all. Basically, what you're doing is vacationing to Hawaii. This is so stupid. And then you're going to move to Southern California. Okay, we got it. You're so dumb. And then after we do that, we can make a decision on which one do we like better, right? And Does she just say it's expensive to live in Hawaii with a family of eight? Do you know how <laughs> Okay, it's 10 times more expensive where you live. So what do you... These people... Again, this is one more example of spending a whole shit ton of money that they're never going to be able to give to their children. You're going to go... You're going to keep this home. You're going to keep this mortgage. You're going to move to Hawaii. And, and secure a rental that's probably likely about five to six, maybe $8,000 a month for a house the size that you need, okay? All that money is gone. You're throwing that shit in the garbage. It's just a waste of money. And you have eight kids that you need to take care of when your channel explodes, because it will. As soon as Gabrielle gets out and does a tell-all video or book on what you guys have done, your shit's going to fall apart, and I cannot wait for it. Can't wait. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, we may still keep this house that we're currently living in. We may rent it out. We may go back and forth and keep it and use it as like a second home. 
We're not sure yet, um, but we've started the process of like looking into other places to live and we're for sure going to Hawaii for a couple months. Which so just say you're vacationing, dumbasses. It's really exciting. Also, like this time of year in Hawaii is like, it's like whale watching season. It's like really good weather. Like totally educational lake. It's beautiful. It's like, like 80 every day. She's like a boring Jess fam, right? She's like Jess fam if Jess fam was like playing Jess. She's like Jess fam if Jess fam was just tea with no sugar in it. Like, if Jess Fam was a librarian, that's her. Right? No offense, librarians. And nice. Yeah. And it's just so It's relaxing. so pretty. It's, it's so pretty. So nice. Is it? It's Hawaii nice? Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> Bunch of idiots. I think after being at home for the last two years, the kids are going to have, like, the most fun because... I feel like it's very much like two years of vacations bundled into one vacation. So just called out. You said we're moving. You're not moving. You should say we're going on vacation like you do all the time. And a much needed vacation for all of them. And I think they're going to have so much fun just exploring. because there's They have to still be in school, dumbass. Just January. So the first six months, you're going to move them. They have to be in school. Are these kids even getting an education? Maybe they're leaving because they, they're they being pressured about the kid's education. Because I know that California has, all states have a pretty strict law when it comes to educating your children. Like, they have, there's standards you have to meet. There's just no way that these people who can't even speak a fluent sentence or spell or anything can teach their kids anything. So what is going on? There's something else going on here. Looks like they're moving until the summer. And then when school is out, they're going to move back. That's what sounds like happening here. Maybe CPS is being sent to their home. I don't know. Some shit's going on here. This is, they don't, first, if I was moving to Hawaii because I could afford that, I would be so happy. These people look like they're just diabolically planning something and they're not telling you the whole thing. So much to do. And so and I love that it's like, there's going to be so many outdoor things for them to do. Are there's no outdoor things to do where you live in California. They're leaving a lockdown state is what's happening. Because we have been stuck at home. This whole time. So we're really going to Texas or Florida. It's way cheaper. Really, really excited yeah. about it. We're going to be vlogging, of course. So are you? Tuned. Okay. There's going to be like lots of fun vlogs. We're not bringing a ton of stuff. So you're not. <laughs> we're moving, but we're not bringing anything with us. Okay, cool. You're moving though. Oh, we're packing super like, light. We're packing really light. If you guys want to see. Totally no one gives a shit. Yeah, like if you guys want to see, let me know in fun. the comments because like, I. Packing light. Shut the F up, both of you. Somebody speak. Somebody else speak. I hate these people. Like, and bring almost nothing. Cause we're literally where we're going to be living. There's like our Costco and a Target. We can just buy what we need. Um, so I want to bring minimal clothes, swimsuits, whatever, two pairs of shoes per person. And then just like buy what we need when we're there. So cool. Morons. Oh, it's going to be I really fun it'll be, though. It'll be good. We're yeah. really excited. Um, <laughs> and it's, it took like a sound excited and look excited. Oh, these people, you know, those just those that one set of people doesn't matter. You just don't like them, right? This is them for me. Like in real world, I would look at them. And I, if I ever met them in real life, I would like, oh, I get the thing in the pit of my stomach. I'd be like, I don't like these people. If they were my neighbors, I would not shovel their driveway. Okay. I wouldn't do their sidewalk. I would, I would go up to my property line. I would, and that's what they do too. You know that I would not do their driveway. A lot of planning because obviously traveling with a family, um, of our size can be a little difficult right now where we ran into a hiccup with like the car situation, but I think oh, we yeah. come up with a solution. Yeah, um, yeah. So once we figure that all out, like we'll let you guys. You don't even have it figured out how you're going to travel while you're there. You're going to have to rent a giant ass van that you know how expensive it is. So they might as well just buy a shitty bus while they're there and then sell it when they leave. No, um, but so far, like, I think, I think we figured it out. Like we're this week, we have this week to do it. Um, but yeah, we're really, really excited. It's going to be really I said that 14 times and you sound really excited. Fun. It's going to be like the experience. So they took off to Hawaii to look for a rental place, left their kids back here. Who watched their kids? Lifetime for the girls. And if we do like it, like I said, we, we could look will. for some more permanent housing. Well, so what I, I can't afford to live there. I don't care how rich you think you are. An eight person family moving to Hawaii. First of all, don't their kids have any friends at all? Are you literally just uprooting your entire family for a few months? Getting them away from all their friends, family, and everything else, and then just like, okay, I would never do that. I'm sorry, that's just silly. They don't give a shit about anybody but themselves. Is that people that like live on the islands can sometimes like it can be like a shock because like all of a sudden now you're just stuck on the island and you can get kind of like burnt out with that that. So what? 
I, I no feel way. like, I don't know, we're gonna have to see how it goes. Peaceful. Um, but that is, I have heard people oh, telling that. Up. But also, flights now are so cheap from California. They didn't used to be. I think um, when Southwest oh. started flying. Oh my God. Do we need to know this bullshit right now? Is this really important? There, it made like a huge difference in like the price. It's like a hundred bucks now to go back and forth. So a hundred dollars to fly to Hawaii. What the f? Are you shit me right now. Yeah, holy shit! It's like two hundred fifty bucks. One forty, one ninety nine, nonstop too. Oh my god, that's cheap. I'm going to Hawaii. Oh, I think that's going to be like a part of big part of it too because it's not a big deal now. We're used to. It's not hundred bucks though. She like be like crazy expensive. Um, but yeah, that's our big kind of like announcement, and it's big. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be super fun, and we'll talk to the kids. Um, maybe do you want to talk? We we'll talk to the kids in the vlog today and ask them kind of how they feel about it, but. From what it, from so far, like, telling we've you been, really like every night we've been watching like movies about where to eat and where to go and what to do. And it's mostly like, again, do your kids really not have any friendships where they are? Like, are you pulling them out of everything? These people are so irresponsible with their children's upbringing. This is crazy. Think about this for a second. Kids aren't even in, when did they put, I need to know anybody who knows more information about the wife's life. Why are their kids not in school anymore? And how are they getting an education? Damn, how do, you, how do you homeschool eight children properly when you can't even string together a sentence without using like 15 times? Hikes and hanging out and like it's, it's outdoorsy and peaceful and waves and beach and... You're not outdoorsy people, clearly. Awesome. It's going to be really fun. And then we still get the opportunity though because where there's like Honolulu and Waikiki, like there's big, they have city, you know, it's yeah. like big city stuff there too. So like we have the opportunity to do that if we need to go shop. Stop. If we need to do anything like that, like it's still there. So you are you saying there's stores in Hawaii? Cool. Got it. Understood. Hawaii. Are you it's like, it's, <laughs> you know, Hawaii actually has places where you can actually go shop and shit. We get it. Looks, we did a view of it. It looks exactly like everywhere else. Just has more bomb trees and shit. Hawaii. People think Hawaii. I think they romanticize Hawaii and they don't actually think what it is. You can only, if you want to live in Hawaii, you need to be super uber wealthy to live nicely in Hawaii is what I'm saying. Okay, just saying. No offense to people who live in Hawaii. You kind of have the best of both worlds, yeah. which is really exciting. Yeah. I mean, you live in California. Just move closer to a beach. So everybody was sharpening down some snacks. Mom's having lunch. A little chicken salad over there about going to Hawaii. What do you think? I'm super excited, especially to go snorkeling. Snor Can you not snorkel in California or something? Am I crazy? There are beaches in California, right? Like tons of them. California is a coastal state, right? Am I wrong? Snorkeling, yeah, gonna get your feet all sandy. Yes. Yes. What about you? What do you think about going to Hawaii? Now yeah. I want to know what Gabrielle has to say about this. Gabrielle, what do you think? What are you excited about there? I'm so excited. I want to go to Hawaii like forever. <laughs> oh, I just gave the baby a black bean and he didn't. Oh no, it. he's making a. He said, "Oh." Gab, like they don't like. Did you guys see that for a second? She's he's speaking to Gabrielle. I'm so excited because I wanted to go to Hawaii forever. I get that, and any teenager would be excited. And then she's like, "Oh, come over here. Don't talk to her anymore." You guys see what I'm seeing? Gabrielle, get a lawyer as soon as you get to college. As soon as you get out, reach out to me. I will get my fans to crowdsource it for you. Go get a lawyer. ASAP. You're owed hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Just so you're aware. Hundreds of thousands. You get off the plane. It's just I just can't help but see that Gabrielle is like the stepsister. Like she's the Cinderella. It's the thing that drew me to this channel and that bothers the shit out of me. She's the only one that's not like connected to the rest of the kids. She's on the outside. I know it sounds really bad, but I'm telling you by the way that they treat her, she is the stepsister, basically the half sister. Everybody else is biological except for her. And you can see it in the way that they treat her. It's nasty. And all the things that we heard about from her family members, what she told them with her mouth is crazy. Okay, I'm telling you, it is scary what's going on there. Like a wall of... So that's it for today, guys. If you want to follow us over on Instagram... Yeah, that isn't... Okay, if you're going to say we're moving, say don't lie. You're not moving. You're going to Hawaii for a few months to vacation. So, again, it's... Just say that. Why do you guys have to lie? Why is the... What is the lie about? Is it going to hit different when you tell people you're just vacationing for a couple months? What is the difference? Are they... Their fans are going to be like, oh, how dare you go on a vacation? That's all these people do anyway. They all they do is go to Target, go on a vacation, go to Disney, go on vacation, 
Go to Target. Go to Starbucks. Eat food. That's it. That's all these people vlog about. There's nothing good. There's nothing good that they bring you. Nothing. Okay. Why lie? Why do you lie? And in the video, you say it a bunch of times. We're not moving to why. Unbelievable. And again, I'm super worried about why they're doing it and what they're trying to do to get Gabrielle away from maybe some influence when she turns 18. She's got one more year of school. And I, I need to know, everybody, who has the inside information on Weiss, how are their kids apps getting an education? Because it sounds like here, this video, that they're just around watching their iPads. They're not in school. They're watching television. They're watching YouTube. They're not actually getting an education. How can these kids get a proper education when the parents aren't smart? I'm not saying that you have to be smart. To, yeah, you, I, I am saying that. You can't teach your kids shit that you don't know. How are these kids getting educated? I'm so scared for these family vlogger kids who don't get to go to school. It is one of the scariest things. The Piper Rock Hell story that's coming up soon that we're going to start covering a little bit more is even scarier. I know that Piper Rock Hell can't even string a sentence together anymore. She can't even read her scripts because she can't read. And she's 15. Daniel Cohn can't read either. These people, imagine them trying to do math. I'm not saying you need math for everything, but you should at least be able to read, Right? I'm so, no one ever talks about the education of these children and how so many of them are homeschooled. Like, what about the crazy pieces and crazy middles? Do those kids go to school? What is going on? We're going to do a deep dive into that. Anyway, everybody, take a deep breath. You're beautiful. I think that you're just, maybe you need to hear this today and you haven't heard it, but you are incredible. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of this fight with me. I appreciate you. And I will see you tomorrow, you beautiful, valuable souls.